Oh, shit. Oh, man, they are coming in hot. Far out. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Come on, come on. Oh. oh, my God, that was close. Oh. Oi. 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 Yep, it's raining. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh my God. Can you see what this is? Oh my God, I'm shaking. Look at this. What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. Okay, we are going on a solo camping mission. And when I say we, I mean you and me. We're going on a solo camping mission. But to keep it a little bit OG, we've got absolutely no food and we've got limited water. I've got one bottle of water. So it's gonna be fun. This is what I like doing the most is coming out here with absolutely no food. To be honest, I am starving right now. I could eat the ass out of a low flying duck. So I'm really, really hungry, but we have a massive, massive punch up the coast here to get to where I wanna sleep. I'm not too sure what it's gonna look like. There's a little bit of swell around, so Bit of a walk ahead of us to find, finally get to the rocks and then we'll see what it's like when we get there. But definitely, definitely need to try to somehow put some fish on the fire or some kind of a bush tucker. Who knows? I've got absolutely no plans right now, but all I know is that we're going camping. We don't have any food and it's gonna be a hell time. Straight off the bat. All right, so we've been walking for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and straight off the bat, come across this massive, I don't know what you, you can call it, a crop, call it what you want. There's a massive crop of goat's foot here. Now we've eaten this on the, we've eaten this before, but there's a lot of new people and this could probably come in handy one day, but that flower there is a completely edible flower. This is the first thing I'm gonna eat all day. Doesn't really taste like, a little bit of a taste to it. Doesn't really taste like too much, but these leaves are edible and so is the root, so. Probably got about a 45 minute walk that way to get where we want to sleep tonight. But um, look, if I do starve, because it is extremely hard fishing here, as you guys would know, we can come back here and we can, um, we can eat this goat's foot. We can eat the flowers, we can eat the roots, we can eat the leaves. So if we are starving, we'll come back to this little crop of goat's foot behind me there. And um, that's a little bit of a food source there. A little bit of nature bush tucker. Okay, so this is originally where I wanted to stay tonight. This is where I was gonna be, originally I wanted to fish along this ledge here, set up the tent on these epic rocks in the background behind the camera, I'll show you in a minute, but um, it's so sketchy. Every now and then you get these massive waves that just come right up, like they're pushing right up against this cliff here, so I'm gonna have to make a plan B. This is a, probably the most fun part about being out in nature. Nothing goes to plan. You can never really plan anything when you're doing something like this, but. This is way, way, way too sketchy to be camping by myself here. There's waves that are coming like way, way, way up here. So I'm gonna have to make a plan B, but this would have been a really good place to camp. We would have slept up here on these little pebbly rocks like this, super flat, very comfortable. And then fished all afternoon and all night off these rocks here. But every now and then there's a big wave that comes and it literally is washing all the way up along the flat cliff there. So this is way too sketchy. <laughs> Alright, so while I go find a different place to fish and a different place to sleep tonight, I'm going to grease on some clips from not yesterday but the day before. We went out on a fishing mission, it was a midnight fishing mission. It was gnarly, it was insane, but the reason that I'm here right now is to redeem myself or I won't be able to sleep for the rest of the week, so it'll all make sense soon. I'll grease those clips on now, enjoy, and by the time you watch that, hopefully we found somewhere to fish, sleep, and gather a bit of food for tonight, so... Enjoy those clips, I'll grease them on now. Yo. All right, good bloody morning to you. So it has just gone, I think it's two, no, it's 1.43 in the morning. I've got no idea if you can see that. 1.43 in the morning, so um, 
We're going out and we're going to go do something a little bit different today, this morning, tonight, whatever you want to call this. We're going fishing. What is that, man? <laughs> we're going fishing to the place that I call Spot X. You guys have been there before. We've all been there before, but we've never been there fishing at night. So we're going to go do, and I'm out here with Andy again. He's going to be popping lures. I'm going to be jigging. It's a complete night mission. And then when the sun rises, we'll come home. So we've got a couple of hours out there fishing. Um, it's going to be dope. I'm bloody excited for it, but there is massive storms out here. There are big, big storms coming in. And um, Andy just said yesterday that the boys went out on a boat and one of their boats actually flipped backwards over onto its back. They lost two brand new Stellas, two carpenter rods. So they, they've, they lost all their fishing gear. Um, and he reckons it was just like mayhem out there. So we're going out there right now with um, no safety gear. These boats have no kind of technology on them. We don't even have lights. We've got little headlights and that's it. So um, look, it's a little bit sketchy. I'm bloody excited for it, but, and um, ooh, I don't know. It's probably gonna be hard to film, but let's get into it because I am frothing for this one. It's gonna be something different, something interesting. And um, look, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be good. Let's go. Yeah. That's it, yeah. we're out of here. Let's go, doggy. <laughs> here we go. Into the darkness. This is gonna be interesting. Sick. This is what I live for. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, all right. You definitely wouldn't want to be claustrophobic because <laughs> this is so funny. I am, oh, I don't even know if you guys can see this, there is no room in here. But I am laying on the bottom of the boat and the, the roof is up here somewhere. So this is what I'm dealing with right now. Because we've got about a two and a half hour drive ahead of us, we're just gonna sleep. So I've got the bottom bunk, which is here. I've got water dripping all over me, and then I've got Andy sleeping. Literally, Andy is sleeping right here. I could probably poke him in the ass if I do this. So um, look, this is what it's all about. The adventure and doing dumb fun shit like this is just so rad. It's just gone two o'clock in the morning, and um, I am absolutely fizzing right now, so. This is just sick, isn't it? Look at this, man. It's not every day you get to sleep in the bottom of a bloody boat, is it? All right, I'll see you guys on location. You. <laughs> I'm getting water all over me. Oh. <laughs> all right, a little bit of a quick update. It is. 4.04 in the morning, so I've been down, oh shit, it's so rough under here, man, it's 4.04, oh. <laughs> where we are going through some serious, serious seas under here, so like I said, it's 4.04 in the morning, we should be pretty bloody close to our destination where we want to go, um, I don't know, it's really sketchy to be under here because I've got no idea what's going on up there, I haven't slept one wink. I'm soaking wet, I'm dripping wet here. Either old mate up there is pissing on me, or it's raining, or the swell's that big, the right waves are just coming in over this boat. But um, ah, it's good times, and I have a little bit of a surprise under here. We'll have a little bit of a cheeky barista session while we're driving on the boat. Check this out. Yeah, doggy. This is either gonna be a really smart or a really, really dumb idea. This is boiling hot coffee. Oi. 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 Alright, that'll do. Look at that. <laughs> How good is this? Four o'clock in the morning, haven't slept a wink, don't need to sleep because we got coffee. This is killer. Yeah, baby, look at it. 
situation. Oh, dude, this is sketchy. Oh, this looks so good. All right, we're here, finally. It is nearly 4.30 in the morning. I've just had a glass of coffee. I spilt it everywhere and it was absolutely bloody beautiful. So it's time to start fishing. Alrighty doggies, this is what's going on. We've been here for about, I don't know, it's about, we've been here for about an hour and a half. I don't know if you can see, that sun is just starting to pop up now. So what I've been doing, I've been throwing this jig around. I've been dropping this jig down. It sort of glows in the dark. It's a pretty, wait a minute, I'll show you. That's what it looks like, glows in the dark. Oh yeah, you, you might be able to see that sun coming up now. Um, yeah, we've been fishing for about an hour and a half. No one's got anything at all. Um, I think it's about time for having a little bit of a, another coffee and then um, we'll just see what happens when this sun comes up. There's a massive storm brewing over here, so who knows what's gonna happen, but uh, look, it's pretty bloody good out here. All we need one in one fish to smoke this thing and I'll be so stoked, so. Come on, big dogs, where you at? See ya. mission that sun has completely come up now and um, we still ain't got no fish on the deck but we're not gonna stop trying it's windy it's rough we got coffee and um, what else could what else do you really need in life really only one fish on the deck that would be really good been fishing since pitch black we've been fishing the whole entire day we haven't had one fish hit there's been another three boats fishing here as well they've got nothing so it's just like one of those days where the ocean is just turned off so um we're calling it i've been fishing ultralight i've been fishing the surface i've been fishing with jigs the boys have been both popping hard and um just nothing it's just one of those days where the ocean just turns off so we've got no fish me and Andy are tired as dogs because we have had no sleep and um, <laughs> it's actually pretty, I'm actually that tired that I'm like delirious, I keep like just, uh, my face probably looks like a half sucked grape right now, looks like I've been in a fight or something but um, puffy eyes, happy salty face and um, it's all good bruh, we're heading in, we got no fish but it was still fun, so I'll see you guys whenever I see you. All right, how was that for a bloody fishing mission? We got absolutely nothing. Um, we put in so much time and effort, but that's what that's what it's all about. That's fishing. We tried. It was a, we had a good fun. Like I had a great time. But by the end of that by the end of that morning, Andy and I we both looked like just bashed crabs. Like my eyes were hanging out of my head. I was literally just running on the fumes of coffee. I was just munted. So I went home. I had a sleep. And then that's why we're back out here. We're here now. We're trying to redeem ourselves, and hopefully we can get a fish. Now, I'm going to do something that's probably a little bit silly and I'm going to do... I found something when I was walking on the beach to get here. Check this out. Come on. All right, we found a fishing float, which we're not going to use, but it's just this poxy little fishing float. And we found this ball of fluff. This is just like fluffy, shitty material. But if you watched last episode, we caught a fish using similar material to this. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna, we're actually back in the same place we caught that long time. And um, it's the only place that I can fish right now. The whole entire coastline is just getting pumped by, it's not a massive swell, but a big enough swell, to not, it's, it's too hard to fish at night. So I'm gonna be fishing with no hooks again, trying to bloody, I'm trying to catch food and I'm gonna make it even harder for myself. But I'm gonna put this fluff on a bit of line, bit of sinker, super basic rig like we did last on um, the last EP and um, see if we can get ourselves a fish. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm starving and um, 
We can't sleep here. We're not going to be sleeping here. It's too rocky. It's too rough. We'll go maybe go back around where we found those nice little better rocks. I'm, I've got no idea. But right now, full brain set. We need to catch fish. So tie on a little bit of this fluff. And we'll, um, I don't know, hopefully, we, hopefully it gets us a long time. Fingers crossed. All right, so this is what we're running. We've got, what have we got here? Come here. A little baby stink card. This time I've put it on a swivel and then about 300, 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters of, of, of line down to the piece of fluff. And that piece of fluff has absolutely no hooks in it. So we're purely going for long tom again. Hopefully we can get a long tom. The plan is get one or two, a couple of long tom, pack up and go and find somewhere to sleep tonight before this storm comes in. So we're gonna fish hard, try to get a long tom and then we'll bugger off out of here because there's nowhere to set up the tent and we'll hopefully, fingers crossed, get ourselves a feed. If not, we're going hungry doggies. Here we go. That's the lucky cast, that's it. Push! Bloody hell, you got a bit of distance. That swell is picking up. There's no way we can sleep here. All right, we have 100% got a fish on. We have actually got a fish on. <laughs> yeah, doggies. This is about 10 casts. Not even joking. Look at this thing go. Absolutely smoked that bit of fabric I found on the rocks. Oh, this is dangerous. There he is, look at this. We are not going hungry tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> have a look at this. We have, this is probably about the 10th cast and we've got ourselves a beautiful long time. I am starving, so this is not gonna go, this is not going back. We are gonna eat this, but that is a beautiful little long time. You can see how that how that material that I found on the beach there has completely wrapped up around his, his beak or his mouth or whatever you want to call it, but he was not getting off anytime soon. That is a beautifully caught fish on a bit of rubbish I just found on the bloody beach. And um, look, I'm going to see if I can get one more and then we are going to get out of here because look at this storm. We've got a massive storm. Look at that big thing in the background. Big black storms coming our way. And doggies, we've got ourselves a feed. I'm not going hungry tonight. Let's set up the camp, set up the tent, start a fire, and um, eat this. But I'll see if I can get one more. I'm gonna have a big feed tonight. But that's worked perfectly. Look at that. Hooked him nicely. Didn't hook him, but tangled him up beautifully. See if we can get one more. It's so fun, man. Oh shit. Oh, this is getting hectic. I need to get out of here. Dude, I nearly lost my fish. My shoes, the GoPro, look, the waves are coming right up here. Oh, I need to get out of here. This is getting hectic. And that storm's coming in hot, look at it. Oh, this is crazy. Anyway, we've got one fish. The, the little bit of bloody, the little bit of whatever you want to call it works so well. <laughs> oh, this is home. Welcome home. There. All right, this is where I reckon we'll sleep. This is looking so much more juicy than the last place was. Make sure that reel doesn't go in the sand. Look at this. Nice, flat, little bit of sand here. The only problem is, is this. Obviously, something is going on in the ocean out there. There is some sort of a swell churning up or whatever, but you can see here, this is where these waves, they come up. They're coming up to this height here, all the way <laughs> up into here. And tonight I'm probably going to be sleeping about right there. So hopefully, I know the tide's going out. We have an outgoing tide, so we should be sweet, but you just never ever know. So we might wake up with the uh, the water knocking on our doorstep. So who knows, but that'll be, that'll be a fun way to wake up anyway. But look, we've got a fish. I am so, so bloody pumped that we've got that fish because I'm hungry, man. And we've got a fish to cook for dinner. So that's really sick. But 
I might set up the tent now, just quickly pop it up, and then um, I'm going to fish along this beach. I've got no idea what it's like fishing here. Never fished here before, but you guys got to try these things. So let's go. Set up this tent, and then we'll try fishing straight behind me there. Hopefully, we get something big. Roll him out. It's the wrong bloody way around, isn't it? There we go. Do not need this unless it rains because it's going to be bloody hot tonight. So easy. Boom, just like that, we've got ourselves a five-star hotel. I'm gonna put a blow-up mattress in here, I'm gonna put my pillow in here, and um, it's gonna be bloody good times. All right, I reckon what we'll do We'll chuck all the stuff we don't need in here. I'm gonna try to keep fishing for a little while, see if we can get one more fish for dinner. But I mean, that fish that we've got is, that's more than enough, but I wanna have a big feed. I have had nothing to eat all day. Had very little water and um, <laughs> that fish is gonna be good. I'm gonna throw around a little 10 gram lure, like a tiny, maybe 10, eight grams. See if we can get something like a little tuna or a little, little baby trevally. Woo, that'll be good, so. Anyway, we're looking good. Tent is set up, fishing gear's here, and um, let's do it. Let's go, one more little bit of dinner. Oh, that goes so far. Sweet! <laughs> Look at it go, man. It goes so far. Come on. All right, we had a crack. We had a red hot crack, but um, I don't know. We're racing time right now. So the sun, I don't know. We've probably got about 40 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, 40 minutes of light left. So what I want to do, I want to go collect a bit of wood. We'll start up a fire and um, we'll cook this fish. I've got my gas cooker in my bag, but um, everything tastes better cooked on a fire. So that's what we'll do. We'll try to gather up some wood if we can find some dry wood. I'm always chewing on fishing line. I don't know why it's like a thing that I do and I always like nearly swallow it when I talk. But anyway, let's go collect some firewood and um, <laughs> we've got a long time for dinner, doggies. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got our small sticks, our big sticks. Probably need to go get a couple more sticks, but this is gonna do for now. Let's make a little bit of a fire bed. Probably don't want it too close to the tent, actually. All right, here we go, our little baby fire. We've got our small stuff on the bottom. How good is this? There goes that coconut hut. Coconut husk is so good. All right, we're just gonna, hopefully we can get a little bit of a light going on because this wood is a little bit damp. It's not really, really dry. Oh no, we are on fire here. We're going, that's done. <laughs> yeah, this is what it's all about. Getting a fish on a piece of rubbish, man. I found that rubbish like just up the coast, just up there. And we got a fish with it. That's insane. All right, I'm just gonna load all of this wood that I have onto the fire because we wanna have a bed of coals. Obviously we're cooking fish. So we're not using this fire for anything else except for cooking. 
and then obviously a lovely night's bloody sleep with a fire next to me but I'm gonna load it up once it's loaded up with wood we'll go clean that fish up look at that mate <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! I honestly thought I was going to be eating oysters and snails for dinner, so this in a long time makes me very bloody happy because we've got fish for dinner, sleeping in a tent, big storm brewing over my shoulder, but I'm not too sure if that storm's coming this way, but you can hear the thunder, the lightning, it's like craziness. Super crazy storm st starts you, I can't even speak English, I. Eh? But anyway, let's get the guts out of this fish. We're not going to do anything fancy with it. Literally just going to take the guts out and um, smash it straight on the coals, pretty much. I've got a little grill, actually. I've got a little grill plate in my bag. Let's throw that in. But um, these are a very easy fish to clean. Pretty much like that, the guts are gone. Just like that, she is clean as a whistle. So since I've been in Bali, what I've noticed is that these fish, Long Tom, they are everywhere because, purely because, people can't catch them with a hook. Or you can catch them with a hook, but it's very hard to catch these fish with a hook. And the reason behind that is the structure of this fish's mouth. So you can see its mouth here. Obviously there is nowhere for a hook to penetrate. That is rock hard, that's just bone. It's rock hard bone all the way around here. So when it comes up, when they come through, when you're spinning lures, little lures, these things are always going whack. They're hitting it, but they're not actually hooking up because there's not really a lot of area in here for the fishes, for the hook to set. And that's why using this cotton or any kind of, any kind of cotton is so effective because you can see those little pin teeth. So many pin teeth. And as soon as they hit it, as soon as they bite it, they hit it, they have a little snip, it gets tangled around them and um, bang, you're pretty much straight on. But if you're going to try to catch these fish with cotton, first, the first thing you, you do, and it's hard not to do, is when it hits, try not to strike. You want the fish to um, have that in its mouth as long as possible so it, so, so it can tangle up. And the second thing is run an extremely loose drag. So the more time that that has, has to shake its head, to pull it, like, you know, shake its head around in the water, do whatever it does, the more chance it is to tangle up and you're going to land the fish. But um, Look at that, we got one. Beautiful, I'm just gonna rip the scales off him and um, that's pretty much it. Maybe cut it in half so it fits on the little frying pan because it's it's pretty long. It's, it's longer than my leg. So um, yeah, we'll rip, a couple, we'll rip these scales off and we're just gonna chuck him straight on the coals over our little grill. <laughs> How good. Just make sure the tent isn't on fire. All right, the current situation is we have a little bit of rain. We have absolutely no wind, but there's rain. She's coming. I've had to put the condom on the bloody sleeping on the tent because everything's going to get soaking wet inside. But here's our grill and our fire is looking beautiful. But this storm has other ideas for our fire for sure. All right, so we're just going to use these two bits of wood here. Sort of like to raise up our grill. Just enough to sit on top, like that is absolutely bloody beautiful. We'll go grab our fish. Here she is, beautiful long time. One there, one there, and it is easy as that. No salt, no pepper, none of the good stuff. This is as good as it gets. You don't need that stuff right now. That is absolutely pumping out a lot of heat. I'm gonna to try to keep this little fire on the back here going so I can keep pushing coals across if we need it, but look at that, mate. That is looking really good. Have a go, look at the smoke, man. Have a go at this. Oh my God. That's proper smoky, but um, our fish is looking tip top. I just went for a little bit of a walk down the beach there. Found another little bit of treasure. Unfortunately, that back hook's been snapped off or bitten off by a fish, but um, that's a pretty dope little lure. Keep that for a memory, you never know. Might get something on that one day. Always keep that random kind of stuff. We'll get rid of that because there's a couple of hooks on there, but um, have a go at this. This is what it's all about right now. This big pile of wood is about to bloody take off. 
that's going to ignite any second and our fish is looking absolutely beautiful so i've just turned it about i don't know two minutes ago and um look at it yeah that's got a lot longer to go slow cooked very slow cook absolutely beautiful <laughs> all right the um the rain has set in hopefully it's not here to stay it looks pretty a little bit dark over there so hopefully it's not here to stay but it just bucketed down for about a minute or two so i've made a little shelter for our fire and it actually <laughs> it looks funny as hell have a look at our little our little shelter that's saving our fish <laughs> it's actually working pretty good though that rain's coming straight down and hitting it there so still a lot of heat going on in there oh yeah slow cooked perfection all right, I'm going to go hide in the tent while it keeps raining and it's probably going to be a banging sunset, so look at it. All right, you can go away now, mate. Yep, it's raining. Excuse my camera if it gets water on it because right now it is actually, it is raining a lot, so I don't know, we've got this storm coming over. It's been slowly coming over all day, but have a go at this, would ya? Beautiful, 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 freshest fish ever. I cannot wait to eat this. Here it is, have a go at it. So we're not going hungry tonight. Does not get much fresher than this. This should just peel off the bone. Oh my goodness, have a go at this. We just want that part. Look at that, white, beautiful goodness. Oh, <laughs> that is what it's all about. Ah, smoke them all, That's really good. These fish have a lot of little bones in them. But if you know where to pick the meat from, you can pretty much clean the whole fish, get all the meat out and um, enjoy a beautiful dinner like this. Look at that, man. It's like the most whitest, most beautiful meat. We don't want the skin, but we do want this beautiful meat. I think it's gonna be a very interesting night's sleep tonight because this rain is coming and going, but what I'm more excited about is to wake up in the morning and fish there again because, mm, there's one of them bones. Because um, something come in and hit that little bit of rubbish, that little fluffy bit of pink rubbish that we were fishing with, and it was not a long tom, 100% wasn't a long tom. So maybe there's fish in the area, I'm not too sure. This is a bloody hard place to catch fish. So we're lucky that we're actually, oh, I nearly lost it. We're lucky that we're eating this right now, but um, tomorrow morning, quick little, quick little Brewster session, and then we are out there. So, uh, no, I'm gonna fit. Oh my god, I can't speak today. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna finish this, finish this whole section, and then um, by the time I do that, it'll pretty much be dark. And if anything dope happens during the night, obviously I'll, I'll wake up and I'll record it. If not, see you guys in the morning for coffee time. Oh, why? That's not going to waste. Holy shit! Oh my god! Can you see what this is? Oh my god, I'm shaking. Look at this, a wave just came up the beach just then, completely dusted my whole entire camp. Look at this man. It's burning my tent. No, oh my God, that's psycho. That's unbelievable. All right, I've got to change places where I'm camping. Man, that's not good. 
That's crazy. <sighs> that is just, that's insane, man. I just, probably an hour ago, I finished eating that fish, stocked up the fire, the rain stopped. It's too early to sleep, so I was just walking down the beach, like, chucking my headlight on, looking at the little crabs, going through the rubbish that gets washed up on the beach. And then I just heard, heard this, like, boom! It's like big wave, like a proper wave. And I'm like, what the heck? And you can see the white water coming up the coast. And I was like, oh, that's going to be close to the tent. And then the next one just was like, boom, like a big wave. And I'm like, oh, shit, leg it up here. And I just got here in time to like lift up the tent. And all the water went underneath the tent. And um, yeah, that was very, very close, man. I had my GoPro charging. I had everything in the tent. So I'll show you what happened. That was insane, dude. We ain't sleeping here tonight, that's for sure. So this is where the fire used to be. And then, um, look at all this, all the charcoal from the fire got pushed all the way up around the back. And even it's under the tent, like that there is hot charcoal. But luckily it was wet enough that it didn't put any holes in the tent. And I was charging my GoPro as well, but look, I'm gonna pack up here. Um, I was just about to put the bloody mattress out and the pillow and stuff and get ready for bed, but we are not sleeping here now. I can't believe that charcoal went under there and it hasn't put any holes in the tent. That's crazy. Good stuff. But um, yep, we're not sleeping here, doggies. So I'm going to pack up the tent and we'll walk way down there somewhere where I think up there it goes up. Maybe where we've seen that um, goat's foot, we'll head that way. <laughs> Lesson learned. Good bloody morning to you. How good is this, man? I've been up since since pitch black. I've <laughs> I started fishing so long ago, but um, I've just been waiting for that sun to set, sun to pop its head up so I could start filming. And um, it is a beautiful morning right now. Check this out. So this is where I had to set up the tent before we were way down there really close to the water so i come up here last night we sat up here way 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 away from the water this time but that sun has just popped its beautiful head up i've just been walking around flicking this little lure this little baby minnow but we haven't had any luck yet i'm hoping to go back onto those rocks today but first things first coffee is in the corner of the tent and then um we'll head up there and start fishing but look at this what a beautiful way to start the day Absolutely beautiful. I I have been Usha. I have been hanging out to make a coffee. I've probably been fishing for about 45 minutes this morning and we have got no hits, there's no nothing really, so just been waiting for that sun to come up so we can pack up the tent and we'll go on those rocks again. But Last night was actually, wasn't, it wasn't the best sleep. Like this sand, it's, it's super, super like gritty. It's not like small sand. It's really thick, heavy sand. And the whole night it was just like abrasion on my, bo on my body when I was like sleeping. So I'm a little bit moist. I'm not exactly dry either. So it's definitely by far wasn't my best sleep I've ever had, but still bloody beautiful. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Once we get a little bit of coffee in us, it's gonna be a good day. The goal is catch a fish for breakfast, catch a fish for lunch. If I can do that, that means we've caught fish for dinner, breakfast, lunch. That's unheard of on this channel. We don't do these kinds of things. So uh, hopefully, hopefully everything works out in our favor and we can get a fish for breakfast and lunch. Ready, ready, ready. Oh shit! <laughs> well, we're away. Yes, man. Here we go. A little bit of bloody local barley coffee. <laughs> I always, I always put so much in there, but that's what it's all about. This water is well and truly done. 
Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this since I fell asleep actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. That is what it's all about right there. So good. I just realized that this tent fly, or this waterproof thing here on the tent is, uh, is inside, it's upside down. Because I was like setting up, I, don't, I think it was like nine o'clock at night when we got hit by that wave. So like I've set up this tent inside out, which is like ridiculous, but it was raining on and off all night and we didn't, I still didn't get wet. It's like super muddy in here, like sandy and muddy inside the tent. I didn't even set up the, the mattress, but I did sleep on the pillow. Like this thing, sleeping with this and just sleeping on the sand is good enough. Like that is, this is a game changer. And it obviously deflates down to absolutely nothing. Like that's what it is when it's deflated. It's a tiny little pillow. This is the best thing I've ever bought. You don't even need the mattress when you're sleeping on the sand. It's pretty, um, it's pretty comfortable just sleeping on the sand, but I need a stick to stir our coffee. And then we're gonna go, I'm gonna quickly pack up this tent and we'll go fishing because, like I said, fish for breakfast, fish for lunch, that'll be killer. There's already two guys fishing over there. And there was one guy over there when I was fishing earlier this morning, so. Hopefully there's a couple of fish around. Yesterday it, was, it seemed like it was a little bit fishy, but that swell was just gnarly. That swell was too big, but right now we're fishing a low tide. 6.46 in the morning and the tide is pretty much 8.30 is low tide. So we're not fishing the best tides, but all we can do is try. Oh, this is something that I love the most, man, is waking up and listen, just listen to this, ready? That's so, all I can hear is birds and waves, man. Birds, waves, and the smell of a coffee. In my opinion, there is no better way to start a day than this. And I just seen, I just seen a fish absolutely launch out of the water just there. So, um, that thing actually flew. All right, I'm gonna smash this coffee. I'm gonna go for a little bit of walk, walk along the beach and then um, finish this coffee and then we'll pack up the tent and See if we can go get ourselves a little bit of brekkie. Never, never know. There it is. That's a fish straight off the bat. Whee! Yeah, the boys up here are frothing. <laughs> That's all. Second cast of the morning. Whee! the damage so I'm just throwing this like right, this is no bullshit right I know you can think you watch videos and it's like first cast I get a fish but that was second cast of the morning using this or second cast of the morning on the rocks obviously this morning on the beach I got nothing but as soon as we come to the rocks using this little bloody diving this little bait just twitching it second cast have a go at this oh we got another snake fish yesterday we got what this is what we had for dinner and we've just got another one. How good is this, man? I'm gonna let this one go. He can fight another day. I've literally just had a coffee. I don't need to eat breakfast right now, but that was, a, man, these are a lot of fun. They jump out of the water and I'm using, I'm using four pound gear. So it's a super, super light line. And um, these things put up a sick fight, but this one looks like, a, this must be a male or a female because it's a lot different than the one we got yesterday. It's a shorter nose, it's a stubbier nose or a stubby a mouse and um, that was epic mate. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh my goodness. 
I'm going to let this crocodile go and we'll um, see what else we can get. It was a bloody good start to the morning. <laughs> see you later, you beautiful thing. Oosh. And he's gone. All right, let's get one more. That is so much fun on this light gear. One more. <laughs> what a way to start the day. Second cast, boom, long tom on the little lure. That was super fun. They're actually a sick fish to catch. As soon as they, as soon as they get here hooked, they are jumping, they're launching out of the water. It's super fun, but I had two more casts over there and I wanted to come to where we were yesterday. So I'm where we are yesterday. Does that make sense? I am now where we were fishing yesterday and um, it's unfishable. Unfortunately, it is a sea of plastic out here. I'm not sure if you guys can see because it's probably super glary, but all the way along here where my finger is, it's just a line of plastic and seaweed going all the way along there. It's 50% seaweed, 50% plastic. That makes me sick, man. Look at it. Big line of plastic and obviously, the tide is low right now, so it's all stuck against the rocks. Once that current starts pushing, that's gonna get taken all the way down there and out to sea and probably to float around in the ocean for the next 50 years. So I can't fish here right now. It's just a big line of bed, bed of plastic and seaweed. So that is disgusting, mate. Ah! Oh, mama, here she comes. And I got a little bit of plastic. What a surprise. We'll chuck that in the bin later, but look at this swells picking up. I was standing down there before. Ah, here it comes. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Plastic. Makes me feel absolutely sick. That's one bit of plastic down there. That's two. How much plastic can I catch? It's disgusting, man. What's going on here? We've got another bit of plastic. I am so over this. <laughs> Look at this, man. Plastic or seaweed? It's a combination of plastic and seaweed. Oh, this is sketchy. Go, 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 go. Huh. I'm done. That's it, it's over. So we've been fishing. I've been casting this, what we made before for quite a while now. We've had absolutely no luck, but somehow this that has no hooks still is catching plastic. This is probably about, I'm not even joking about the 15th piece of plastic. My pockets were both full with plastic like this. So I am done, I'm over it. I'm gonna go and um, we're gonna go eat some fair dinkum, true bush tucker because there is, I'm just not fishing here anymore. It's like that, there's just this line of plastic and weed and wood and shit in the water. 50% of it's plastic. And I'm just catching this maybe every 10 to 15 casts. I cast a, catch a bag and this doesn't even have hooks on it. So imagine if I was using hooks, probably every five casts I'd be catching a bag. So. Pack up the rod, we'll get the knife out, and we'll go. Um, we'll go grazing on the rocks. A little bit of, a little bit of a smoko. It is 11 o'clock now, so that's definitely smoko time. Let's dig into some fresh bush tucker. All right, I really, really got to watch my back here because um, that swell is picking up like there's no tomorrow. But there's a couple of beautiful oysters in here. Just gotta get him. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Now look at this thing. <laughs> Little baby. That's a tiny one, but nonetheless, it is that beautiful little bit of a little bit of a smoko taste. what it's all about, a big ball of tasty snot. <laughs> oh shit. 
Wow, oh, you gotta be so cautious on these rocks. Mm, that was a tasty one. <laughs> that wave was close. Yeah, look at this one. A couple of pearlers in here. That's more like it. That is a big juicy oyster, that one. That is beautiful. Oh. There's another little beauty. All right, I'm just gonna go along this rocks and feed myself on oysters because that's the last, Ooh, that's, a, that's a little bit of a wave coming. Because um, that's last resort, that's all we can do now, so. That's it from me doggies, we got two fish, I made up for that night of fishing where we got nothing and um, that's what it's all about, I had a sick time, I hope you did too, I'm just going to go walk along here, fill myself up on oysters and um, thank you for watching, much love and of course I'll see you in the next one, yeah doggies, oh!